Yo, what up? Is it too early to say that um, Instagram TV, IG TV failed? I don't know. It's been like a month or two that it came out. I've been there once, maybe twice, never came back. I don't know if it's just me, but uh, I don't think it was a good idea. I'm gonna tell you why I think it was not a good idea. I'm gonna tell you what I, I would have done if I was there. Yeah, why IGTV is not like Instagram stories. When Instagram, Facebook in general, started copying the features from Snapchat, which was story, which was a killer feature from Snapchat, essentially stopped Snapchat progression. They killed something that was working and it was working really well. Everybody was doing stories. I even started doing stories on, on Snapchat. And by the time I started creating stories on Instagram, really stopped using Snapchat because uh, I didn't have any anything to do there anymore. And I came back to Instagram and I had everything in one place. So it was an instant success. Stories on Instagram has just exploded and i think this was the right move when it comes to igtv for real i don't know it feels a little clumsy you can't search really there's a lot of reason why to me as for now they might update it and make it better whatever but i have a few reasons why to me uh this is not a place where i went and i'm returning the reason number one is that people are just tired of platforms trying to become other platforms. Instagram is amazing to post photos and it's also great to post videos in the feed. You have the stories and I think that's enough. I think Facebook should stop trying to transform Instagram into Facebook because at, the, at a point it becomes bloated, it becomes too much stuff. Like, you know, I don't even go on Facebook anymore because when I go in the app, there's so much stuff and I'm like, oh my God, it's, it's a nightmare. And Instagram, I like the fact that it's simple. You go there, you watch what everybody has done, you continue your life. And uh, I think, yeah, people are just tired. Like, listen, it's too much work for creators. You want people to do what? Post on Facebook, post on Instagram, post on Twitter, record videos for the YouTube channels. And then you also want them to record videos for Instagram. Listen, there's only so much hours in one day and people are really tired. Second of all, nobody's interested in making long form vertical videos. I understand that we in the mobile generation, most of us actually watch content that is done for mobile and, and content on mobile. But if it's on YouTube and I, I want to watch it, for, I just do this. It's, it's not that hard and it's interesting watching a 15 second story vertical, but uh, I wouldn't watch a one hour. I mean, why not? I mean, I don't, I don't have nothing against vertical video, but I was, I'm, I'm from the old generation. So maybe, maybe next generation will be used to this and won't care, but I don't know. Another thing that is happening with IGTV is the, the issue with monetization. Facebook has never been great with monetization. I have 1 million followers on my Facebook page almost, and uh, I still don't have access to monetization on my videos. So why would I post there when I make money from my YouTube channel? I don't know. But Facebook prefers and always love to decrease your engagement, decrease your visibility and tells you to pay for you to have visibility. So they love taking your money. They don't like giving you money. They don't like sharing money with you. They are really struggling with the idea of having people make money. They prefer people advertising on their platform. So there's no in incentive for creators leave the comfort of their YouTube channel where they get monetized, they have the super chat, they have a lot of option made for you to live off your work. It's a full-time job for some people. Yeah, you're not gonna work for free. So the last point, in my opinion, I think it was wrong to present it as a YouTube killer. Um, at the point where we are, I don't think that there will be a YouTube killer on these platforms youtube is the new tv when we're talking about streaming there might be space for competition like twitch but when it comes to recorded entertainment uh, where you want to see your favorite creators youtube has replaced tv in my household in my house we only watch youtube netflix and maybe a little 
little bit of uh, Amazon Prime. I don't even know why I'm paying cable. And, and if you look at IGTV, a lot of the content there is not even people trying to create content for IGTV. It's just people taking their YouTube video and repurposing it for IGTV. So I'm not sold. So we did fail. I think instead of doing IGTV, they should have just added some superpower to stories, make the live, the live streams that you record, instead of having them just be available for 24 hours, give the option to have them stored forever on your IGTV, for example, or just in somewhere in stories and make IGTV part of stories and also give, give us the option that everything that we record in our story, whatever we record in a story that we decide, just like a highlight option, make the highlight part of the, the IGTV so that when somebody goes into your IGTV, there's all your old stories, all your live streams, all this, because we're already doing all this content. Why have people do a new, we already have photos, videos, stories, live. Why don't you take the stories and the live and this is what populates the IGTV. Why you want us to have a fifth content? This, this is the problem with Facebook. Like at a point, they don't know how to stop. Take what you have, improve what you have instead of had, adding, always adding something, 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 something. This has to stop. Anyway, my t-shirt is from Shadowware as always. Fuck talking, pay me what you want me. Give a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to be part of the notification squad. I'll see you in the next one.